Hey everybody, excited for you to join me today. This is Travis, your manufactured home nerd. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a custom designed Kairos 2. This is a customer's home, going to be going to their property fairly soon. And of course, because it's not put together, they don't have the sections completely in order. This is actually your first section, middle section, and rear section here. Uh, we won't be able to see everything in this house quite yet but we'll be able to see quite a bit of it uh, one of the things to keep in mind is because it's not put together when i say hey this is a living room or a family room you're not seeing all of it so when we go into this first section here you'll see just a little bit of the living room because it does cross over into that middle section and of course this house will have a much higher pitch roof once it's set up there are a couple nice features i want to point out about it now this is an upgraded model with the wind zone so you see those tie downs there but this beautiful porch here built by Deer Valley is something that is just super special. I love these beams. Those are actually like six by six, maybe even eight by eight posts that frame out the porch. And then of course these gorgeous eaves that they do and the rough cut shutters, but also the rock features are just something that add a really nice feature to it. You got a really good porch all along the length of the front. And this is the back of the house here, so you can see that there's a porch on the back as well. I know it's kind of weird that I turn from the front to the back, but that's just because it's not put together. Now we're going to go step on inside here. These are the cropped windows. They have a little bit different pattern there in the window than you see in a lot of them. And we have the upgraded door here. It's got the glass on either side really nice feature because it is frosted so it gives some privacy but you can also see through it pretty decently especially when you're inside just a little look up and down this porch here i do love these rock features with the cedar accents all right let's go check out what the house looks like now it is full of supplies you can see here we walk into this would be the living room of course it would carry over past the plastic there deer valley does do Painted sheetrock throughout standard, so that's something you never have to worry about. And they do have this luxury vinyl tile in here, but they also do have some luxury vinyl plank options. Right off the living room, you have a little half bath, sink, and toilet. And we've got over here, a nice little coat closet right there at the entry. Now going off the living room here to the right, this would be your dining room. It is a large dining room with cased opening, beams in the ceiling. To the left there would be your kitchen. Well, I think we'll be able to see that just a little bit. But all these windows let in a ton of natural light. Otherwise, we wouldn't probably be able to do the video without me having a flashlight on. Now, right off the dining room here would be a family room. So it would be a nice big open area. Second den, if you like, place for the kids to congregate, have separate TVs, playroom, whatever you wanted to use it for. And then this is a four bedroom home. So right here, we see this large bedroom, definitely room for a queen size bed. Again, more natural light. Got the nine foot ceilings that make it feel huge. And they got the five blade ceiling fan and this large closet here with the wood shelves and I believe that would go to a bathroom but I'm not 100% certain I don't want to lie to you I will of course include a link to this house and the floor plan in the description so make sure if you want to check it out or if you want to request information from us at Bolton Homes don't forget to mention Travis but you can ask any questions you like there or of course you can ask questions on our post itself i'd love to hear from you love to hear your suggestions what you loved about this house and of course if you enjoy this tour today don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button now we're going to go ahead and head outside get into the center half so give me just a moment i'll see y'all in there all right i made it up here we're in kind of where that bedroom number four was where i was showing you the closet this is the utility room another in the middle of half i'm going to leave this door open since it is no lights to the house. This is your laundry room. You see you have an exit door here. Place for a washer dryer with a recessed dryer vent. The whole home shut off. And of course, 
your water heater. Now they do have tankless options with Deer Valley, but you could also get the 50 gallon like we have there, your AC unit. We have a mop sink, fiberglass with a nice little faucet. Pretty simple to use. Actually, that's not fiberglass, that is a ceramic mop sink, so that's much higher quality. And the metal faucet as well. Plus, room for a freezer and a full-size breaker box. Now, y'all know that Deer Valley is all about quality and heavy build. So, this house does have 2x6 outer walls, 2x8 floor joists, and a whole lot of just structure around everything. So, around every window, it's double headers, double studs. Every door is the same, plus a beam that goes down the center line of each home. Now, this is that family room we were talking about. Remember, there's another six or so feet over there that makes this just a large area. And this opens up here into your kitchen. Now, the kitchen is not just here. There would the refrigerator, if you notice, is gone. Would be right on this other side. I think we'll be able to see that as well. And there is your living room off the kitchen. But before we do that, take a look at these solid wood cabinets. They did the black cabinets in the island with the white cabinets in the center. Now these are, like I said, solid wood. You can see the nice dovetail edging, our joints. They use screws instead of staples to hold stuff on, but also it is soft closed, so you don't have to worry about the kids slamming them. We have the big 60-40 split stainless steel sink in the island. That is not a blue washer. Uh, dishwasher that is plastic wrapped around it to protect it. It's a Frigidaire stainless steel. Nice little bar style here. Opens up so if you're in the kitchen washing dishes you can look at the TV or chat with people in there. But also here's your nice little setup for cooking. The built-in wall oven as well as the microwave next to a stove cooktop. Beautiful hood. Just a really nice house. Now in this center section, on the other side of this wall, would be your master closet, so you won't really get to see that. We're not going to cut plastic to get in there and do anything. These are pieces of wood here that would be used to help build up your roof once we get it on site, because it is a taller roof. It has to ship hinged. Look at those little beams right there and the ship lap framing out the bar. Just a gorgeous home. Look at those can lights in the ceiling. So a ton of lights, not only the natural light, but that. Can lights will help last for years. Of course, the ceiling fan. And then let's see if we can see this beautiful. This is a wood burning fireplace, but you also have the app option to have it plumb for gas. You can do an electric option as well. And they have quite a few different stone options that you can do for the house. Let you see all the different beautiful accents you can choose to make it look more modern more rural, more um, farmhouse. All these different color options are something that you can you can pick out. And I'm, before I leave this kitchen, I don't want to miss out on showing the rolled countertop. You're not going to splash water down behind there. But you also have this beautiful tile backsplash. It's all ceramic. It is simply gorgeous. I love the colors in this house. That black hood looks really good and pops well with the cabinets and of course these are some huge pot and pan drawers slide out super smooth of course there's your saw or assist close however you want to refer to it just a great little kitchen um before we go in any further point out that that would be access to bedroom two and three a little more of the kitchen here and i believe access to the back porch and then your master bedroom is going to be back over here. We should be able to see the porch, maybe bedroom two, maybe three. And we're definitely going to be able to see the master bathroom. So let's go hop over there in that section. All right. Thankfully, y'all didn't have to see that. There was no stairs to this little back porch. So me hopping up here was a little bit like a beached well. But thankfully, I was able to get up. So this is that back porch I showed at the beginning of the video. It's pretty spacious. Definitely room for chair and tables, a couple of rockers or a bench if you like, and it's got this really just nice roof over it with the light. Of course, you do have the option of doing a ceiling fan there as well. Nice little bars, just such a, a great little secluded area at the back of the home. Now, one of the neat things here too is this little rust 
cut wood door here hides a little storage area for out on the porch. Whether you want to put coffee cups in there or bug spray, candles, whatever you want to put out there, you got that extra little space to, to store stuff. And it's got the nice little latch lock here that you can put a little lock through. And then you got a standard almost front door on this back here. You know, in the south, a lot of us use the back door going through the house anyway. Coming in here. Oh, wow. This is part of the kitchen here. So, this would be your refrigerator and cabinet. Not much we can see from here. I think that's because they did some standard changes. So, we are going to improvise, guys, so we can go see the master bedroom, master bathroom. Y'all give me just a minute, and I'll get through there. All right, I made it in. This was a little worse than actually climbing up on the porch, was cutting through that plastic and coming in here. This is your master bedroom. Two big windows, space for a king-size bed between those windows. Really easy. A lot of really nice space in here. Make sure you can put your bed on that wall. That wall. If you had a smaller queen-size bed, you could even put it there. But you also have a ton of plug-ins. So you can definitely set up however you like. Got room for dresser, maybe even an extra chair or love seat in here. But one of the great features about this room, besides the two big windows, is this gorgeous tray ceiling above the, the bedroom. I mean, that's like 10 feet tall right there. Just an option that is awesome and how it presents. Gives you a lot of space. You want to put a bigger bed, whatever you want to do. It's really nice. And it is wired and braced for a ceiling fan right there. All right, let's go check out this bathroom. I know this tour's been long, kind of a, a lot of jumps. A lot of pauses, but we're gonna be able to see just a really nice home. But don't forget it's called the Kairos 2. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can see more about it. And of course, if you enjoy watching these videos, again, please do subscribe. I try and release two a week. Not always gonna be a great big triple wide or a custom built house, but it will be a lot of really nice houses. Now this is your bathroom, your vanity. It's got a place to put your makeup on. Built-in mirror already. Ceramic sinks, little backsplash option there above there. Looks really nice. Metal faucets and the vanity lighting above each one. So that's really nice. Of course, the same solid wood cabinets in here as you see in the rest of the house. Got a more storage here. You could treat it as a coat closet or a linen closet or just store some supplies in here. And that would be what goes to your large walk-in closet. Uh, but I'm not going to cut the plastic to that today. And this is a huge jetted soaker tub. See your little dial to control the, the jets. The button to turn it on. And four jets in the tub. It is very deep and easy to soak in with a beautiful window above it. This is going to be your private water closet with the bigger toilet. Still got the really high ceiling in there with the vent, of course. And then it's going to be a little dark, but you can see the eight foot shower with tile. I love that the handle to turn it on is right here. So you don't have to go get wet to get the shower started and get it warmed up. And then there's a little handheld with the bench seating. They also have the option with this home to do a tiled floor instead of that fiberglass base. And so that's always an option that some, a lot of people consider. It gives it a more of a residential feel and it's just something that's really nice looking. Now, if you guys like this house or any of the homes you see on my channel, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Reach me at 318-487-1819. Again, my name is Travis. Or just comment here. I'd be happy to help answer any questions you have about manufactured modular, single wide, double wides, or triple wides, even insurance. We'd love to help you figure it all out. We can give a little advice on a little bit of everything. Thanks for watching today, and I hope you guys have a great day.